Hey guys, Andy from DIY Band. A quick video on how to make the most out of your MIDI drum kit. Um, whether you don't have access to a drummer, um, you don't have access to recording your drums, you don't have your microphones, a MIDI drum kit is a great way to get yourself in there, at least to begin with. And whether you're just tracking some ideas down, um, it's good to be able to feel the you know have a beat there to be able to play to um as opposed to uh, I'd, I'd prefer to play i'd rather spend five minutes right in the drum track um than playing to a metronome just feels a lot more better um so the vst of choice i use is mt power kit uh what pa m blah, 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 m key power drum kit 2 bit of a mouthful um but it's free and i will be putting a link in this description for you um, it's a standard you know rock drum kit all your bits there you got a mixer so you can turn up turn down volumes pan left and right you can uh, choose the compression on it a bit more as well um, there's a few loops in there if you choose what you wanted to use these you know you just uh, you select them in there and, and uh, have a little play see see how that goes but what I've done here is I've just loaded it in as an instrument and written this MIDI drum track here um, and we'll, we'll, we'll listen to that. What we'll do is I'll just take off this VST because um, that's step two. So. Okay, I just spent you know a couple of minutes writing that just so you can get the idea of, of, of the sound of the drum kit. One thing, the next thing that I would do is I would highlight everything. So go into your MIDI kit. Control A, and you want to go to edit, and you want to adjust the timing. Now, this might seem counterintuitive, but no matter what any drummer tells you, they cannot play perfectly in time. Nobody can play perfectly in time. Whereas you're writing a MIDI track, and it is going to be every single note is going to be perfect. So what you want to do is you want to get these note sizes whatever notes you got the beats on i've got them on 16th notes um so i can adjust the time into the 16th so i just turn these right down i stick them on but anywhere between five and ten really just to give them that slight um change and what it will do let me zoom in here and be able to see it happen um adjust timing so it's only adjusted a little bit if i press uh apply you see they all shifted very slightly yeah if we listen, you shouldn't hear too much of a difference, but it will be less a less of a MIDI drum feel because they will be slightly out of time. I always feel the drum rolls are a lot better this way, whereas this is a drum roll I've got, I've got here, um, which has been adjusted. So if we listen to it, sounds more like a real drum. A drum fill other than as opposed to uh, this one hasn't been adjusted so let's listen to them back to back so the first lot is um it was very robotic because it is a robot doing it i guess um so that's that's the first stage of what i would do so i've changed uh i've added in the drum kit i've written my drum track i've adjusted the time in so it's not perfect um, the next thing I do is I stick this on all of my drum tracks, even my live drums. It's guitar rig. Um, I use it for drums. I don't use it for guitar at all anymore. I've got this this def um, this setting that I've um, I've made. Uh, it just adds a little bit of body to the. Well, listen. Well, I'll start this track here, and I'll then I'll enable it. When you're adding in these mastering VSTs, it starts to sound pretty all right. Let's go from this one. So 
there you go. There is a MIDI drum kit. How best to utilise it all for free. We'll be putting the links in the description. Till next time, I've been Andy from DIY Bands. Keep it punk.